Hi. Hi, Owen. How are Hi. you? Good, thanks. How are you doing? Good, thank are you, you. Are you Are you keeping Corona outside the house? Yep. Uh, I haven't gotten it. Um, I definitely know people who have. Do you know people who have gotten it? Mm, we hear a, a lot of bit. stories. and you know, Yeah, a little bit. But yeah. and where are you at the moment? I'm in. I'm on Maui. Oh, that's good. Yeah, life is good on Maui, right? They haven't had a lot of cases here. Uh, a lot more in California, but uh, they're you know it's they're very strict here, so uh, yeah. it hasn't been. Uh, it's it's definitely not the way it usually is. Right. Well, I'm in Amsterdam. Um, and I think you have memories of Amsterdam. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah. You know, this movie, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. This movie, you know, um, the idea of that there is another world, that we live here, but there might be another world. Is that something that goes through your mind a lot? Well, I was saying... Um that it, it had never even occurred to me. I'd never even heard the idea that we might be in a simulation uh, until a few years ago. And I think Elon Musk said something about it, or there was something in the New York Times about uh, if we are, we might not want to investigate it too much because we don't want to let whoever is uh, doing it know that we've caught on. But since I've heard that, then of course doing this movie, it's now, it seems it's much more in my head. And of course, with the crazy year that we've had, and maybe just as you get older and your relationship to time becomes more surreal, um, you, you could start to believe, well, what exactly is real? Uh, I know the great uh, film critic, uh, Roger Ebert, I think that when he was, uh, you know, towards the end was saying it's all a dream. <laughs> and uh you know um i don't know i find myself more open to these ideas and less certain about what i know than i was as a kid is this why you choose certain parts and why you say no to certain parts is there is there an element in it or what is an element why you say yes to a part for for me it's it's a little bit in this case uh the director mike cahill was friends with two of my really good friends so that already made me kind of inclined to want to work with him and then meeting him and he's just a um a really uh kind of unique uh, in how, what a kind of deeply kind person he is. So much so that you kind of keep waiting for, okay, this has got to be a little bit of an act. I mean, at a certain point, he's going to get frustrated. And, you know, there's always a lot of uh, pressure working on a movie, making their days. And, uh, and he never broke character. <laughs> he was <laughs> always that person. And so uh, I liked uh, sort of being in the service of his vision and uh, aligning myself with someone like that. And that's, that's kind of how it happened. It is, it is February. So we're almost close to Valentine's Day. Are you a romantic person? Do you like that whole concept and, and, and romantic movies and sharing? Yeah, I think that, um, um, you know, Selma Hayek, we were just talking and she was saying that Mike had told her that she, in, the, in the Bliss movie that she's the drug, she's playing a drug. And so uh, I don't know if this is a very romantic view of love being a drug, but uh, it's certainly something that uh, can uh, make the world a lot more bearable when you, when you have that feeling. Uh, that's a pretty pretty great feeling and that's what valentine's time say does right yeah so, yeah right. yes thanks very much good to talk to you again and hope to see you thank soon you in real life thanks yes thank you <laughs>